I woke up in the middle of the night Ooh, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, bye Hello, good morning, good morning, you want cuddles? I have just pulled up at Ikea because I actually have an appointment here this morning to finally plan my wardrobe room, which I am so excited about. It's been a long time coming, it's been months and months of basically just putting my clothes wherever they end up. Some are under the bed, some are on the floor, some are in Kenny's wardrobe room and it's about time I got organized. I don't know what's taken me so long. I really feel like the changing seasons has made me want to get myself into gear this week and really, I guess, kind of have like a bit of an autumn reset. I really want to do all the things that I've been putting off around the house and try to really make our house feel like a home in time for the autumn winter period. Because I know when we bought the house, one of the things I was so excited for and I just kept imagining was kind of winter, Christmas, autumn, cozy season, I guess, in our house, especially because we have the fireplace. And right now we're just really not making the most of the space. I basically, out of a whole four story house, I basically exist in the kitchen or our bedroom. And that's because I haven't got the vibe right for the rest of the rooms yet. So that's our priority this week. The wardrobe room is just an empty box still, which is such a waste of space. I don't think I've ever shown you my wardrobe room. I don't think I've ever shown you the guest bedroom or Kenny's room, or we really haven't spent any time in the living room. So you've basically only seen the kitchen and our bedroom over these last few months. And that's because I guess a part of me was trying to wait till the house was more finished. But these things just take so long, don't they? So at some point over the next couple of days, I think I'm just going to walk you around the house and just give you a really kind of realistic update as to where we're at with the house and the renovations and the rooms that still need loads of work and the plans for those rooms. And we can just have a big chat and just kind of use more of the house and show you more of the house. Today I've got another appointment this afternoon um, because I am trying to buy a new car at the moment. I say trying because I really felt like this process was going to be like really fun and easy and I'd find something really quickly but I've been looking for cars for quite a while and it's not as fun, quick or easy as I'd hoped. But I thought I'd take you along this afternoon. I think I'm going to look at getting something very similar to this car. Um, but I'll talk to you more about that later because I don't want to make myself late now. So let's run into Ikea. I'll do the appointment um, and we'll have to have a bit of a look around as well. See if anything else catches our attention. Um, so let's go. <laughs> home and I'm just running upstairs because I need to grab a change of clothes um because hello because honestly look at these two how distracting also please excuse all this fluff on the carpet this carpet is brand new so we need to come up here with the hoover hello 
I'm gonna have some lunch really quickly now. Kenny's laying me some tomato soup, I think, downstairs. Then my appointment with the lady about the cars is actually really soon. I think I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and I'm gonna take Rue for a walk afterwards because I could take Rue with me to look at the cars, which is quite fitting actually because basically the whole reason I actually need a car is so I can take Rue on nice walks. So I need to pack a change of clothes that I can just swap into before we go on the dog walk because it's very rainy and very muddy. What have you got? What are you doing? Spying on the neighbors? Can I get past? I think I need a proper coat today. Like I don't think this Frankie shop one will even do. Just need to grab some jumpers or something. But yeah, I mean, it's a complete, oh, sorry, Rui. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's a complete state in here. I'm having some homemade tomato and quinoa soup with the random bits of toast. You know, the bits of toast that just always need using up. And that'll be my lunch. Do you want to go somewhere? the tail honestly please excuse our carpets they're such a mess since we had these new bits put down hey hey ah, don't buy my toes we're going for a walk a walk good and I've hardly spoken to you, which is pretty much what's happened. Um, it's like five o'clock or something now. It is still daylight. I just closed this light above my head because it was doing some weird lighting thing to the camera. So now it kind of looks like it's fully dark. But the reason it's got so late is we actually ended up being at the Land Rover garage for a really long time because I did actually buy a car, which I am so excited about. So let me let me explain. I was just kind of going today to like have a look, maybe have a test drive of a couple and just see what I thought of it because it's like a slightly different car to Kenny's. Um, and then when I got there, there was a car just sitting in the showroom. And as soon as I saw it, I just loved it, like actually fell in love with it. And actually it was a really proud, happy feeling to realize that I was buying this car all by myself, for myself. I'm so excited, I'm so grateful. I don't take for granted for one second how lucky I am to be in a position to buy myself a car. I really, really do realize that. We went for a walk afterwards, as you saw, and on the walk I just kept saying to Kenny, I can't believe that I just bought myself that car. Anyway, that explains where I've been all afternoon. It actually is getting dark now because what is the time? My goodness, it is so much later than I thought it was. It's coming up to seven already. So let's go downstairs, we'll get some dinner. Kenny and I are actually about to go to the cinema. We're going to the cinema at eight and we are seeing a film. I'll let you know after if it turns out being good. It just looks like a really good autumn, kind of Halloween, a little bit spooky kind of film. So it's called A Haunting in Venice. This is like the little poster for it. Doesn't that just give you Halloween kind of vibes? So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll let you know if it's any good. But I know this morning I said this week was going to be kind of like a reset home kind of week. And then we've not been at home at all today, but tomorrow is the day for that. Um, let's go make dinner. <laughs>
done. Maybe I'll just turn those lights off. One sec. Is that better? It's never particularly flattering lighting here because the skylight kind of awkwardly down lights your face. But we're all friends here. Um, good morning. Hello, little feet. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Um, I did start getting ready this morning, but as you can see, I didn't quite get to the getting dressed part. These pyjamas are just my new favourite pyjamas. They're the White Company. I must have shown you actually when I did my little autumn White Company haul. They're not particularly autumnal, but they're so soft. They're so nice. Um, and things have just been so busy recently that actually it feels like a real luxury to be able to just have breakfast and plan my day in my pyjamas. So we have a few updates. Still no car. I was so hoping that my car would be ready for collection today so that I could show you in this video, but that will be in next week's video. I'm so excited about it. I know that might not be very exciting to some of you and I'm definitely not a huge car person. Um, can you hear the rain? It is so rainy this morning. That's probably really noisy actually. Can you hear it? I love the sound of the rain on the skylight and also on our um, Velux window in the top bedroom. I love that, it's so cozy. I, I actually asked Kenny if we can sleep in the room at the top of the house just because I love, it's so cozy, the sound of the rain when you're trying to get to sleep. Anyway, today we are finally getting around to sorting the house out. It's just been another one of those weeks where time's just run away with me. Um, and we had the carpet fitters back in yesterday, um, which is the third time they've been when they're supposed to actually just do it all the first time, but never mind. Um, months and months later, we actually have a runner on our staircase. So I will show that to you. We need to do some hoovering as well. It's, there's just, if any of you have had carpets fitted in your house, you will know that the fluff from the carpet is around for honestly weeks. You have to hoover like twice a day, but I can show you that in a second. And other than that, we're just gonna have a big sort out today, which is actually why I popped down to the basement just to grab my um, productivity planner. I've shown you this before because I absolutely love this. I've actually just ordered another version of this because the one thing that stops me carrying this around with me is it's a desk pad, so it is obviously quite big. Um, but I think they now do it in like a little mini notebook size for your handbag. So I've just ordered it in that size. So in the spirit of having a really productive reset kind of day to day, I thought I would pull out the planner. So I'm just gonna spend 10 minutes enjoying my cup of tea, making a rough plan for today, and then I'd better get dressed and take Rue out on a very wet, rainy, autumnal morning walk. I think it's gonna be time for wellies soon. I think I need to dig mine out of the shed. Um, what's up? Rui, what's up? Oh, you want to go in there? Okay. Oh. She, um, she loves to sit in the living room because you can see through the shutters what all of the neighbors are up to. Rue is definitely a very nosy neighbor. Anyway, let me get on with this and then we've got plenty of time to kind of go around the house um, and talk you through all of the plans and what we're gonna to do today. This is exactly why, oh, what? This is why I'm so excited for my wardrobe room to be done. So that, oh, what? So that my clothes have somewhere to actually live and so that I can actually see what I've got. But it's a question of what to wear today. Should we just do a hoodie? The various sad shades of beige that I love. Um, what should we wear, Rue? Do you want to help me pick? You're gonna run away, aren't you? Will I just wear this with some leggings, perhaps? I'm getting ready. I'm getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. You look extra cute today. Um. Oh, I don't know. Right, if I wear a hoodie, what will I wear? Maybe I'll wear these. I've not worn these in a while. I'll wear my wool trousers and something that matches. Wool trousers and a hoodie. That's the answer. Maybe not that hoodie though. Wool trousers and... No, probably not. Wool trousers and a cardigan? No. Wool trousers and a hoodie? No. Suppose... Wool trousers and... Oh, I don't know. Oh, right in my mouth, Rue. I love you, but not that much. In the end, of course, I've gone for the same cardigan. I 
wear basically every day at the moment. I never ever take this off. I can't see it very well because I've got Rue. She's very, um, she wants a lot of attention this morning. Um, but yes, this cardigan is Marks and Spencers and I absolutely love it. I truly do wear it every single day. And I will say it's one of the things I've had the most questions about on Instagram. So I'm kind of tempted to get it in another colour because I know they do it in a full range of colours. I think it's about £28 and it is the best. But what I will say is I got mine in a size excuse me in a size large so definitely size up if you want kind of like more of a boxy fit to it which i feel like i've said to you before i feel like that happens a lot i feel like i tell you things i've told you before a lot so if you notice that please call me out because i'm not old enough to be going see now um and repeating myself anyway we are dressed i'm just going to throw a big coat on i've got leggings on because we are going to go for a very muddy rainy little <laughs> walk you're so cute. You are just the light of my life. Who's that? Who's that at the door? Right, let me go and answer the door and then we'll take Rue for a walk. for an hour and a half in the rain um sort of accidentally i took a wrong turn feeling very refreshed let's say um i'm changed i'm into my favorite wool trousers and i thought before we do any sort of tidying sorting all of that stuff i would actually just give you a bit of a walk through of the house as i was saying this morning i have never really done that so just going to preface this with the fact that i'm very much showing you an unfinished product and despite the fact that we've lived here for a few months now most of the rooms in the house are quite far from finished but I just thought why not bring you along on the journey show you where we're at at the moment tell you all the changes that we want to make and then I can kind of bring you along as and when those changes come to life let's start at the top of the house because that's where I am right now and I'll show you uh that was Kenny we're in the guest bedroom so let's start here I'll show you around are you my little assistant are you helping me show the room Oh no, no, nothing baby, I don't know what I said then. I obviously said something that sounded exciting. Um, so anyway, this is our guest bedroom on the top floor of the house. So a little bit sparse in here, as we can see, we've got one of these really old, these are one of the four pound lamps I was telling you about last week, um, which is just serving a purpose in here at the moment. Um, and then we did actually buy a guest bed because we have people to stay a lot more often than you might think. Like my family are always here, Kenny's family are here, um, friends and all of that sort of thing. And then other than that, there's not a huge amount to show you in here. I love the light in this room. The Velux window um, definitely needs a good clean. I don't know whether you can see that. I don't even know how we clean that. I guess we need to get some window cleaners and the blinds broken as well, but that's just a job for another day. So really plans for in here are just to get some bedside tables, get some lamps, get some nicer bedding, get some cushions for the bed, but nothing much. Maybe get a chair actually to put in that corner. I think that could be quite nice, but that's not our priority, is it really? We've got lots of, oh, should we go downstairs? Do you want to show everyone downstairs? Come on then. Um, this is the carpet actually that we just had fitted very recently. It's kind of like a coarse, rough carpet because i wanted something a little bit more durable obviously for the hallways um are you coming down rue i actually really like what it looks like i know my parents have had a similar thing in their house so maybe it just feels familiar and like home there's so many details in the house like for example the way that that light has got no lampshade it's not a feature like hello um that need paying attention to this is our bedroom which you've seen lots of so i won't show you too much in there although we do need new bedside tables my bathroom looks like a bit of a mess through there and then this is really really the room of doom which rhymes but it doesn't make me feel any better about it 
Um, as you can see, this room is just one big mess and basically is exactly as it was when we moved in. But this will be my wardrobe room. So let me show you actually the plans. So these are the plans that I got from Ikea. And if I hold them there, that's kind of exactly where it will be. They'll be in a big L shape all the way along this wall and all the way along this wall. Actually, let me sit down and talk to you a little bit about these plans because I'd love to get your opinions if you've had your own um wardrobes whether they're ikea packs or whether you've just designed your own kind of like built-in wardrobes i would love to know whether you think i'm making any mistakes because i've never built my own wardrobe kind of plan before and the reason i didn't actually get them is because i just wanted to make sure i hadn't sort of overlooked anything and i also couldn't decide between the colors so let me just sit down and we'll chat about it so i'm just going to show you this up close and I just want you to let me know whether you think I've missed anything. I've tried to put a good amount of drawer space because I definitely need lots of drawers. I'm not having doors, that's quite crucial to know. I wanted to feel like a proper wardrobe room, so I wasn't gonna go for doors. However, I am realistic in the fact that my wardrobe doesn't always look like a showroom. So I did want lots of covered drawers to actually have somewhere to put stuff away. And I've got lots of long hanging space for jackets and coats and stuff like that. I've done some glass shelves for handbags, shelves for jumpers, and then we're putting strip lights above all of them basically so they're all down there which I think will look really good. But if you have designed your own wardrobe and you're looking at this and you're thinking I have made some big mistakes please tell me because I've not yet ordered them so it's not too late. Shoe racks as well, did I mention that? I did put shoe racks in but not too many because I don't have that many pretty shoes. All my shoes are like walking boots, wellies, trainers. So that's basically the plan for this room. Let me continue on our little tour of the house. This is now the view down our first flight of stairs, um, down to the hallway. Like I said, this needs a lot of cleaning. We'll do that in a second. It's so dark today. But yeah, I think it looks really good. We went for the runner on this one because I think that's a very sort of Victorian townhouse type of thing to do. Um, and I really like what it looks like. And then in the hallway itself, we've just got these bits that I showed you the other day. We've got our bench, which is obviously already overflowing with shoes. Again, just the reality. Um, and then the cushion. And then this little throw, I actually dug out the other day. It's very autumnal. Um, and that's from Home Sense in a previous year. Okay, so the living room. Like I said, this is probably the biggest project for the next sort of month or two. I have not even been in here to look at it, hence why all the cushions are looking so sad because I really do never come in here and that's what we really want to change. So at the moment we've got this old sofa in here which really kind of divides up the room awkwardly. Um, this L shape cuts the room not quite in half but kind of makes this whole space over here a bit redundant. It's also awkward on this side and we're just really not making the most of the room. So my plan for this room is to get two small sofas, so two kind of like two-seater sofas and put them either side of the fireplace here. Coffee table in the middle, then we'll have the TV on this wall over here. So I don't know if that makes sense to you but this is then like the little hub of the room. You'll come in, it'll have a nice big rug, two sofas facing each other. I suppose it's more of like a formal living room arrangement, but it's the only way I can see that we'll get the most out of this space. And I also think it's a shame to have this whole window so kind of blocked off. Whereas if we have a smaller sofa, a little bit further this way, there'll be room to walk around all of the edges of the room, in and out of here. That's what I'm thinking anyway. If any of you have got a better idea for what to do with this room, please let me know. I feel like this room is going to be so lovely once we've got kind of the design of it right. And there'll be plenty of room for a big Christmas tree next to the fire. Um, and yeah. Anyway, I feel like that's all the home updates for now. I just kind of wanted to show you a bit more of an overview of the house. Um, and I suppose a bit more of like a realistic update with where we're at with the renovations and finishing the house because I know in my videos sometimes when I edit them back that because I only show you the rooms that are more finished it kind of looks like we just did the whole house it's all perfect and beautiful and finished overnight which is definitely not the case these things are always a bit of a process I'm really looking forward to bringing you along on that process particularly for this room because this is going to be like a cozy winter dream in here once my visions come to life, hopefully.
the things I promised Kenny I would get done today is to tackle this pile of parcels that have arrived this week that I have either not opened or not yet put away. So I thought we'd go through them together. Um, this first one on the top I know is from Lano Lips and I'm so excited about this because my sister absolutely raves about Lano Lips. It's pretty much the only lip product that she uses um, and I know she goes through them really, really quickly and it's definitely the season for a good lip balm. I know that this is their new one. It's a 12 hour overnight lip mask which looks lovely. The second one is from Jizu, and I think I've just um, ruined it. Let's have a look what's in here. So this is their honey infused hair repair serum, which looks like this. Should we take it out of this box and have a look? Ooh, pretty. That's the little hair serum. I use the heat protecting spray and it smells so good. And then this big crate is from Hip Pop. And it says, to Hannah, we hope you enjoy the kombucha. Our drinks are perfect to take on walks with Rue. Um, and funnily enough, their office is located just down the road. So I think we've just got a really big assortment of flavours. Pink grapefruit, tropical peach. I'm actually so excited for this. I might open one in a second. This last one is from Biona, which is just one of my favourite, 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 favourite brands. We always use Biona products um, because they're all organic. Um, so what have we got? in this delivery we have got black chickpeas these are actually always the black chickpeas that i use these exact ones um we've got a brown lentil curry which is really exciting because i love anything that just makes a five minute dinner coconut milk coconut oil and then some rice to go with the curry as well that is so exciting the next time kenny's not here for dinner i will definitely be trying that okay right so let's pop some of this away and then kenny can stop moaning at me for all of the boxes in the kitchen. Our fridge is now completely full of kombucha, but in the best way. There's so many of these flavors I've never tried before, like this ginger and yuzu one looks so good. Hello. Kenny just took Rue for another little walk. Oh, done a good job of, um, Cleaning her then. Look at the colour of the towel. That's already there, mate. No, that's clean. Brand new, clean, out from underneath the bed. Yeah, she got some dirt, mate. Yeah, oh, on one. our carpets that were fitted this week. It's good for her, mate. It might be good for her, it's not good for our carpets. Excuse me. Just make sure she goes downstairs, she can dry herself on the rug, but not the, not the new carpet. Did you have a good time? Me. You're not squeezing past me, I'm the bodyguard. Excuse me. Um, oh. Thank you Whoopee. so much. Good girl. Go on then. Go on then. I'm actually cooking dinner tonight. I'm going to go to the shop in a minute. Is there anything that we need that I haven't thought of? What are you doing? Um, condoms. Have you got the maturity of a five-year-old? Is there anything I need? Toilet paper. You've used a lot. Bleach. Yeah. Carrots. That's what I'm getting for the dinner. Um... Um, Meat. excuse me. Hello. Hi, did you have a good time? Right, I've just jumped in the car because I need to pop round the corner. What is this? Kenny's put an air freshener up there. Um, yes, I need to pop round the corner to Waitrose to pick up some bits for cooking dinner and also I need to get some bits so that we can cook dinner for Rue and then I'm really in the mood with some picky bits before dinner maybe just like some crisps and hummus or some olives or some nuts or I'll just see what they've got Waitrose are really good at just like little picky bits also I just got the best phone call saying that everything has all been finalized with my car um, but it looks like Monday will be the pickup day just because of the things that need to happen and the weekend being in the way but I'm so excited about that <laughs> very rainy dark evening um i just got back i will show you what i picked up i got some 
crisps and some dip. I went for this um, extra virgin olive oil hummus today. Normally I buy the organic one, but I'm trying to cut down on seed oils, I say, with a pack of crisps in my hand, which are probably 99% sunflower oil, but something is better than nothing. Um, and then I picked up a few bits for dinner. So I got some of this lovely pasta. I got some courgettes, which I'm not sure if we had. Do we have courgettes already? No. No, okay. Some carrots again for dinner. And then every time I go to Waitrose, I buy a couple of bits from the Deliciously Ella range just to try those. So I got some chocolate, which I've definitely had before. Um, I get the creamy hazelnut. She stopped doing the nutty chocolate bar she used to do, which is so rubbish because that used to be my favourite. And then I saw this, which I think must be like seasonal. I think it's new in. Um, could be wrong. I've just not seen it before, which is creamy butternut squash and sage tortellini, which Kenny is probably going to try and convince me to have for dinner tonight. But... That's not the plan. My plan for dinner is to make a minestrone soup. I'm thinking loads of pasta, loads of veggies, and then maybe some like toasted bread or something on the side, maybe cheese toast on the side, garlic bread on the side, something like that. So let me pack this away, have a quick snack on the crisps, and then we will make some dinner. I've got crisps, Kenny. Here you go. dinner turned out I've not actually tried it yet but it looks really nice and then Kenny made some of this not too sure is it garlic bread or just grilled bread to go with it as well dinner was good but not amazing so I feel like I'm going to perfect that recipe a little bit more and then maybe I will pop it into a reel or something on Instagram I just feel like the broth needed a bit more like depth of flavor but considering it was the first time that I'd made it it wasn't bad and I know I can improve on it so I will let you know when I share that recipe over on Instagram. I've been doing lots and lots of video kind of planning for the next few months, especially a lot of video planning for lots of videos in December, if you kind of get my hint on that one. I wanted to touch base because I know over the next few months I've got lots and lots of videos coming and also I know these are my favourite months for watching YouTube. So I just kind of wanted to know whether what I enjoy on YouTube, like what I enjoy watching in other people's videos is kind of what you enjoy watching in videos or not. So if you do have any thoughts just about what you really like in videos, it doesn't even have to be in my videos, just in general, when you watch YouTube, what do you tend to enjoy and gravitate towards? And then what are maybe the things that you would see a bit less of or you know, like some people, for example, might think that they don't like much talking in videos. Some people would want more talking, more chatting. Some people would want more stuff outside the house. Some people would want less stuff. Like me, for example, I watch so much YouTube and pretty much all of it is in people's houses just because that's what I enjoy. So but yeah, I just wanted to know. So let me know what you think. Anyway, the picture of myself in the camera is telling me that I need to get my makeup off, get into bed and wind down for the evening and get a good night 
night of sleep by the looks of things. I dyed my eyebrows a while ago and I really don't know how I feel about it. I used to always, always dye my eyebrows, but I think I hadn't done it for so long. I'd got used to myself with really blonde eyebrows and now I just, I don't know what to make of it all. As always, 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 thank you so, so, so much for spending a few days with me and I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys.